Welcome back to Isaac Justice League to part three of episode five of Breaking News. I'm Mike Fricios. I'm Joe Morin. So Joe, let's uh, wrap up this another plus size episode with what we always do, what we're playing this week, what's hot in your plate, what are you doing right now? Uh, I got two main games I've been playing right now. The first one is uh, Broforce. Yes, which, uh, we talked about this uh, a couple episodes ago. Yes, we for did. For free and lives uh, and Devolver Digital. Yeah, and the the uh, early access has been uh, released on Steam, and uh, I've been playing this quite a bit. And uh, uh, as we mentioned, uh, this is a. Uh, uh, at first uh, look, it uh, appears to be just a side-scrolling shoot 'em up, but I mean, uh, this is just taken to the extreme with using, uh, you know, your your characters like Machete, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dolph Lundgren, and, and it's just you're, you're you're causing just chaos and, and just totally destroying the environments and uh, just epic boss battles. And you know, I've been having a real blast playing this game, and it's uh, I've been playing it quite a bit. <laughs> Difficulty-wise, what what's a, what what is it like, Joe? Is it is it hardcore? Or is it a walk in the park? It's uh, it's definitely hardcore. It's it, uh, you know it, it uh, starts off fairly easy and then it ramps up fairly quickly and becomes a, a really stiff challenge. It's it's getting hard. And does this have multiplayer? Yes, it does. Have you tried oh. the multiplayer yet? Uh, the, uh, the, the there is local uh, co-op. Uh, the, the online multiplayer is still in, in alpha, so it's not uh, hasn't quite uh, seen the light of day yet, but it is coming. How does it feel control wise, mechanic wise? It it it, it, feel, it feels like uh, like it should for that style of game. It's not uh, it's not overly difficult. It's not uh, too simplistic. It, it's uh, a, a, a nice uh, happy medium there. It, it's enough of a challenge, but it doesn't feel too easy. Yeah. So this one's on PC and Mac. Uh, how much did you pay for this, Joe? Uh, this was, I believe, fifteen. I believe it was fifteen dollars on Steam. Yeah. So still so. early access. The official release is this June, but you can get your hands on it early, and it may even change with your feedback. So, uh, yep. Row Force. What else are you playing, Joe? Uh, I've also been playing uh, a game that we did recently on uh, Joystick Justice League Battle Arena. That's WWE 2K14. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. So what's new about this one? What uh, what makes this be- make makes this worth buying if you bought last year's? Uh, the, the the main feature uh, with uh, this uh, version is the uh, the 30 years of WrestleMania with uh, the the 30th anniversary of WrestleMania this year. That's uh, the the main uh, attraction here, allowing you to play through all, all these legendary matches from WrestleMania one right up until WrestleMania 29. All all, all of these you know, big matches that you can possibly think of, you know, like Andre versus Hogan, Warrior versus. Uh, Rory versus Hogan, Savage and Macho Man, you know, Bret Hart and, and Steve Austin, like all of the all of these really memorable WrestleMania matches, and you get to live through and actually, you know, li- live through these moments that actually happen in these matches, and that's the real attraction here. Right, because it's not only set up with full motion videos and history, but like you said, Joe, you actually have to meet match checkpoints that actually happened in the real match. You'll hit a checkpoint in the match, and it'll actually use very eerily similar camera angles from mm-hmm. what you remember like say watching Hogan versus Warrior in WrestleMania 6 like it feels like you're reliving this game and that's really what wrestling is like I mean you have bookers who decide the general skeleton of the match but it's up to the wrestlers to improv and make it interesting between those checkpoints that they have to inevitably hit when one guy falls and the other guy reigns victorious so you got 30 years of WrestleMania Joe and like the previous games, uh, you got a great combat system, which they revamped in WWE 12 when when yep. they when Ukes changed the formula back to what Aki did in the N64 days with like the strong, weak, directional based attacking method, which I love. I think it makes it way easier to play now than the old SmackDown versus Raw games were. You've got online, of course, and Joe the the usual community. I mean, which is awesome. All the DLC you can get. Like, what have you found there, Joe? Oh, there's uh, you know when it comes, especially when it comes to the user created uh, stuff. I mean, uh, new arenas, uh, completely off the wall characters uh, that people create. You, you, you can get Homer Simpson, Spider Man, Batman, uh, Jason. You know, from the, the the horror movies. I mean, I mean, kind of almost kind of any of those off the wall kind of characters you can think of. You're, you're probably gonna find them there. And, and then you can create your own fantasy league in, in, in the universe yep. mode, which is awesome. You can actually plan mm-hmm. your own pay-per-views and basically be Vince McMahon. You can run the WWE universe, you, or you can just participate in like a Royal Rumble or uh, like a No Holds Barred. So many game modes, just so much robust content within this package. Plus the 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 the, the ever evolving roster of legends, which I think they've 
99% gotten there now. Like, I mean, you've got Warrior, Savage, Hogan, Yokozuna, Rock, Stone Cold, just missing Piper. I mean, I know you've, you've got the Hot Rod t-shirt, but maybe 2K15, which is coming out for next gen, we'll see something different. But for now, man, there's no better wrestling game in town, I think. Yeah, if you're if you're a wrestling fan, this is absolutely, you know, even if you were a fan back in the day or now, I mean, uh, there's going to be something here for you. And uh, anybody who likes wrestling, I, I think, is going to get quite quite a bit of playtime out of this game. Yeah, PS3, 360 sequels are coming for next gen this fall. So stay tuned. We'll probably have some some gameplay videos after E3. In terms of what I'm playing right now, I'm playing a couple of indie titles. I'm getting into SteamWorld Dig, which is uh, recently came to like PS4 and Vita. This I've mentioned this a couple times. This is in the kind of the vein of the the Metroidvania craze that's kind of happening now. So it's it feels very very Metroidvania. You're essentially in this like turn of the, of the like the 19th 20th century uh, mining town. You've inherited this mine from your dead uncle who got lost in the mines, and now basically it's up to you to, I don't know, piece this story together, which I haven't even finished it yet, but uh, it, it, it kind of feels like like Terraria meets like Metroid. I mean, you're, you're digging, and, and what happens is that whatever choices you make like in Terraria stick. So if you make a certain path through the mine going deeper and deeper and deeper, you, deeper, you have to stick to that path so you can sometimes paint yourself into a wall. But luckily, I mean, you can always upgrade your axe or your hatchet or your drill and you can gain new powers like you do it in metroid there's non-linearity and no playthrough is the same anytime so it's it's always a randomly generated mind so you can keep playing keep upgrading it's just, it's just another game game joe that's just really simple in design but just you know it, it this is a hard one to stream it's not an easy one to watch but it's more of just one of those zen experiences they really just appreciate on your own you you watch me play this yeah, it's definitely been interesting to to watch, and uh, you know, the, like you said, uh, with those uh, the, the elements that you're talking about, it's uh, you know, and it definitely feels like a like a sit down and enjoy it yourself kind of a game. Yeah, because I mean, you're you're essentially creating the game as you go. You've got this big. Yeah. My, and you're just it's almost like you're designing your own platforming and, and, and making the game happen before your eyes so this is it's a budget game it's like i think like 10 bucks on psn on on pc tons of platforms also uh in reference i'm playing in reference to another episode we recently did rage quitters trials fusion you got to see this guys um this just came to ps4 uh xbox one it's on pc as well uh, Joe, you've been getting really good at this game lately. Um, mm -hmm. Just tell us a little bit about Trials Fusion before I kind of get into it. Okay, so uh, you know, at first glance, you know that you may think that this is uh, just a more cycle kind of Trials game. It, it, it is that to a certain extent, but I mean, difficulty-wise, I mean, you you, you got to have some skill skill to play. This is, is definitely not your traditional kind of racing type of game. Mm -hmm. This is it, this is essentially a more cycle platforming game. It is, it is, just like Excite Bike of old, you know, you're doing your loop-the-loops and your crazy jumps, but it's got those crazy, twitchy, perfectionistic platform elements in terms of how you bunny hop, in terms of how you employ the game's physics. Now, I'm not going to say they're the most realistic physics. All you do is you have a gas, a brake, and you lean, and that determines how your velocity and how far you're going to lift off of a jump. It's very nuanced. I mean, there's a million strategies you can bring to any particular track because they're just so well designed, Joe. And, and and you see the addiction right there. Like I see your scores, and I'm like, oh my god, how the hell did you do that? And I, and yep. I I'm gonna bust my head trying to catch it. I don't know if I can, <laughs> but it's like yeah. that competitive spirit. This game's not even online, and already we're just chasing scores like motherfuckers here. Yeah, yeah. I think the only thing you didn't mention is uh, the the other button that you can press, and that is to the trick button. That's and uh, also the last second bailout button. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the tricks, Joe. I mean, you got you got tricks in this. I mean, you got, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's uh, the, there's some levels where you actually have to you know plop as many tricks as you you can in the SS, time SSX style, you know, Tony Hawk style. Exactly. Yeah. So the, 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 there's some uh, there's there's some variety, but the, the the real attraction here, I I think is uh, is uh, you know having other people that play us and like you said the the score chasing. That's saying, right. Okay. Okay. You get you got uh, the, the score. And you only had to do in this many attempts, and you go, okay, I, I, I gotta try and do better than that. That's right. right. It's, That's right. It's just there's that immediate competition, and like like you said, you know, I really want to see 
hopefully an online mode come to this. It'd be nice, but you know what? With the fact that you got ghosts you can race against, I mean, really, it's it's right. It's basically a virtual online. You've got those scores yep. to keep you interacting, and now <laughs> there's already like Twitter wars. I'm seeing people like call me out on Twitter, oh, yeah. Rob. I see you, Rob, on Twitter calling out my scores and getting competitive. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you on Twitter, buddy, okay? Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Charles Fusion. Uh, fantastic game from Red Links. Uh, it's 20 bucks digitally, but I would highly recommend getting the $40 uh, either digital or disc-based version where you get the Seasons Pass because there's going to be a ton of DLC coming out for this. Plus, yep. Joe, community creations, man. So, yes. if you think Red Links is sadistic, there's some motherfucker out there in the community that's going to make something that's really going to make you crap yourself. Yeah, that, that, that's uh, you, you. You can create your own uh, evil and sadistic tracks, and uh, you know, see how people stack up uh, playing against it. Yeah, I'm so I'm so glad to see this thriving trials community finally come to Sony, uh, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's already you're seeing it. I'm mean, seeing everybody playing this game now. It's 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 a breath of fresh air, Joe. It's just it simplicity. Is. You can jump in and play, but as soon it's like it's like any of those classic arcade games. As soon as you master the basics, which anybody can learn, it's up to you where you take that. So that's where it gets its depth and I've seen people even when I stream say oh this is nothing but an iPhone game <laughs> you, you, you step up to the plate and you try to take well, that challenge you tell me how iPhone-y this game is so uh, <laughs> yeah man episode 5 breaking news uh, always putting out lots of content and stay tuned for more stuff. We've got another Rage Quitters coming up soon where Joe and I took turns at some of the uh, invasion levels on Rayman Legends and had a crazy old time on that so lots of great content more round tables coming up and of course e 3s around the corner so we're gonna have ever more to carry us right through the rest of 2014 for the joystick justice league thanks for watching i'm mike frusios i'm joe morin we'll see you again guys peace game on guys game on.